Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, where we take our Pilates brain and Pilates body out into the real world. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about emptying your mental trash. It's so important with our incredibly hectic lifestyles that we can stay as organized and as clear as possible so that we can move through our day, not always jumping ahead and thinking about the 20 things that we need to do later, but so that we can really be present within our lives, in the studio with our clients, at home with our family, and most importantly, be very present with ourselves. Now, I like to create rituals for myself that help me do that so that I can really start to declutter my brain. This is especially essential for me before I go to sleep. With so many deadlines and to-dos and lots of different facets of my life, I found that it's really imperative to have a go-to place that I write down at least eight things that I either need to do the next day or that are just kind of rolling around in my brain. I feel like the more that I write down what I need to do, it allows my brain to shut off at the end of the day so that I really can get a good restful night's sleep. No one likes to go to bed and wake up at three o'clock in the morning with their laundry list of things that they need to do. So I have at the end of my day, I'm usually sitting in this nice armchair here and I have this journal notebook right beside it. A lot of times what I'll do is write down lots of different ideas or inspirations that come up, ideas for blog posts or exercises, but really most importantly, end of the day, I list at least eight. I feel like eight's this magic number that really makes you go through the top three or four that it's the next day, but then also Again, those deadlines that are far out on the horizon. Then I write maybe a few little things about that, what I wanna make sure I wanna do, if there are bills to pay, what's coming up for that week, and then I leave it right here. I always know where to find it. I don't move this puppy, it stays there. And a lot of people do it in their bedroom and keep it in their bedroom. For me, I found keeping it in my living room helped to create a sacred space, a quiet space, devoid of mental um, clutter in my bedroom, and that's for sleeping. I don't ever have a TV in my bedroom. The only real electronics I have in my bedroom are my lights, my diffuser, um, my alarm clock, and my e-reader, so that it's really about keying down and nurturing myself in my room, but out in the living room where there's much more energetic action, that's where I keep my to-do list. Every morning, I come right back to it with my cup of coffee or cup of tea, look at what I need to do, and then I'm off and running. That's it for today. If you have any comments or questions, you can put them below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum.